Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at this guy right here. This is Hoppin' Frog New Ohio IPA. India Pale Ale. 1 pint, 16 fluid ounces, or 473 milliliters if you like the metric system. 7.8% uh, alcohol by volume. And let's see... Keep refrigerated, hoppinfrog.com. Okay, a new, improved New England style IPA. It, it has great tropical fruit hop flavors and aromas and relatively low bitterness and light body as expected for this type of IPA. But unlike its predecessor, it has a cleaner flavor and aroma because it doesn't have an overabundance of yeast like a lot of uh, New England style IPAs. And it's 7.8% alcohol by volume. That's how we roll at Hop and Frog. So that's kind of, uh, so that's kind of interesting. And I found this uh, actually marked down at Meyer. Uh, originally six forty nine, marked down to four ninety seven. So a little bit of a discount. And apologies in advance. Um, I know I sound a little congested today. It's not really that badly congested, but my allergies are just like kicking my butt right now. I don't know like what's going on here, but sheesh. But uh, but anyway, enough about me. What about this? As you, okay, so I'm entering this with my own biases. So I'm trying to separate my own bias from what it actually is. And if you guys know me, um, you know I kind of have a funny relationship with IPAs. I've gotten a lot better with them. Um, when I f first started trying all these different beers about three, a little over three years ago, I mean, there's just a few that I didn't want to hear about. I knew I didn't like them, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I've come around to some, some of them I haven't. And, uh, to be honest, guys, I'm not really feeling this one. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just got a really peculiar taste to it. It's like it's it's got the right bitterness of an IPA, but. Like smooth and IPA really doesn't go, and it just isn't doesn't seem like it's gelling very well together, which is giving it kind of this real kind of funny taste to me. It's like a funny texture, and it just has a very strange flavor to it for me. It's like it's trying to be smooth and it's trying to be an IP at the same time, and honestly, it just does not taste good to me. And again, I'm entering this with my own biases, but um, yeah, guys, I'm not feeling this one. I'm sorry, but the Hoppin' Frog is just going to have to hop away this time. This one just is not for me. Um, this is nearly um, pourable down the sink, in my opinion. It just... It just does not taste good at all, guys. So, anyway, pass on this one. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you, if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day. And uh, don't try this one.